three be budgeting because yes i'll be budgeting and cash stuffing welcome or welcome back to my channel where we are telling our money where to go so we're not left wondering where it went on my channel we talk about all things cash envelope stuffing sinking funds budget with me's and some savings challenges if that's something you're interested in or if you're just wanting to follow along and watch my journey definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment below so we can chit chat. Hello everyone, hope you all have been having a great week so far, a great August so far. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel, subscribing to my channel. Um, my name is Ree, and I am living my best life in Aurora, Colorado. And I've been budgeting on YouTube for um, three months now. I started in May of this year. So welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, Y'all know what it means when I have my budget sheets, my calculator, and my pen. It is budget time. We are going to be budgeting um, our first August paycheck, August 5th, Friday's payday. Um, but before we jump into the budget with me, I do have to stop and give a shout out to Budgeting April, who started the Budgeting Community link. And that is, um, if you're new to my channel or new to the um, Budgeting Community here on YouTube, it's just a way for us to um, help each other out, get our content out to the masses, subscribe to each other's channels, support each other's social media platforms, Etsy shops, web, websites, you name it. Um, and so this week is week 11 of round one, and we are going to be highlighting and supporting Fire Wife Savings Life, Making Money Moves, 40 Plus Life, and the Happy Male Fairy. And so I'll, I'll um, make sure their information is up on the screen. And down below, definitely check out their channels. Um, check out their websites, the Happy Mail Fairy. Um, I've been enjoying watching everyone else open <laughs> their Happy Mail from her. And so, um, again, it's just an awesome way for us to get to know um, each other within the budgeting community. Um, so let's hop into the budget with me. Um, move this over here just for a second. Um, we're getting paid August 5th. And for this payday, we're going to be budgeting um, from my salary job. So I just have my nine to five job. Um, so I, I pretty much always use the actual column because it does not change. Um, the expected versus actual, I, I should say, does not change. So this paycheck, we're going to be budgeting off of $21.90. Um, because I am salary, my paycheck typically does not change um and it's funny because as soon as i said that my paycheck started changing um but my job um they started giving a giving us a 100 dollars stipend um to just address and help us through inflation um and you know just thank us for our work over these last now what is it have been two, two and a half years um of being in a pandemic um, and so super helpful of them. And so um, right now that's what I'm budgeting this check off of. Um, I do leave some amount in my checking account as a buffer um, because I don't know about y'all, but um, things come up in between my two paychecks, um, you know, and because they're, I'm not really making a side hustle salary or no additional salary. It is just me. Um, I'm a single household um, income as well. Um, and so things come up, so I definitely make sure to leave um, some money in my checking account for those random random life things that pop up. So um, we're going to be budgeting off of $21.90. Um, and then we're going to head into our fixed expense area. Um, and so it is the first of the month week, so you know what that means, rent, mortgage, whatever you may have. And so my mortgage... We'll be paying that with this check, um, which is going to take up the majority of this check. So I hope y'all enjoyed <laughs> my last cash stuffing um, from the last check in July because that 
That literally only happens twice a year when I have my magic check or my free check where all of my bills pretty much have been paid for um, or accounted for. And so I was able to stuff just about everything. I'll link that playlist um, either up at the cards or down below. But yeah, this is a typical budget for me. Um, so last last time it was very atypical. Having all that money just to um, stuff envelopes does not happen, but um, twice a year. And so we've already had our one time. I think we have one more coming um, later this year, but we'll get there when, when that day comes. So yeah, so my mortgage is coming out of this check. Um, I have my two credit cards. Um, I'm just going to put credit card one and two because of the way the dates are falling this month. Um, so this check is paying for all my bills coming between August 5th and then um, August 15th ish um, is when I get paid again. So because of the, um, the way these due dates fall, I'm having to pay both of my credit cards um, payments off of this check. And so that is going to be for a total of $426. And then we're also going to pay for our gym membership. That is $22. And then we are paying life insurance on this check for $38. And then I need to pay my Hulu subscription and that is eight dollars and so um but you know for those that are asking you know how do you figure out what to pay when and what how to budget your money on this check and that check um and it's really simple you know um the thing about personal budgeting personal finances like my girl at um debt free panda says it is personal you literally have to sit down with pen and paper and excel spreadsheet whatever you have Figure out what your income is, whether you budget on a monthly basis, weekly basis, bi-weekly basis. Figure out what your income is for that time period. Sit down, write out all your bills, write out the dates that they are due, and then, um, then start to determine, okay, well, with these bills that come out between the 1st and the 15th, I'm going to pay that with XYZ check. The bills that come out on the 16th through the 31st, I'm going to pay on ABC check. And then once you sit down and decide, okay, once I've paid my bills, what's left over, then you can decide um, what goes into your variable expense envelopes. And we'll get there in a second, but your variable expenses are things like gas, groceries, um, any money that you may be giving to your husband, your partner, your significant other, your wife, any allowance for your kids, um, you know, just things that come up during life that are not fixed expenses, but you still need to make sure you budget for them. So let's go ahead and um, see what we have left over once we've subtracted our fixed expenses from our um, what we're budgeting off of. So the total here is 1416 plus 426 plus 22 plus 38 plus 8. Okay, so that gives us a total of $1,910. And we're going to subtract that from $2,190. And that leaves us with $280. And so we're going to carry this $280 um, up here so we can figure out what, go, what needs to go in our cash envelopes. Um, so for me... This check, um, because I was able to stuff so many envelopes, um, my last paycheck, this check, as you can see, we don't have that much to um, spread around. So we're going to be a lot more decisive with where that 280 is going. Um, so for my cash envelopes, these are the envelopes that I carry with me in my wallet on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, my spend wallet, or spend envelope is going to be getting its usual 25 and for me right now that seems to be working i do end up spending the whole 25 but for me once the 25 is gone i just stop um it just happens <laughs> it just seems to happen that way um so i'm gonna keep that at 25 um self-care 
as y'all can say, see, these nails need some love. So we are going to be getting our nails done. Plus, I want them um, nice and fresh for my trip that I have coming up. Um, gas. The good thing is that gas is going down. And so, and I still have um, a good amount of gas in my tank right now. So I'm only going to budget $60 um, and see if I can get back to that. When I first started um, budgeting on YouTube, I was budgeting $60 for gas. But as we all know, the last two um, two months or so, everyone's gas budget went up. And so I'm going to bring it back down to 60 and, you know, cross our fingers and hope that um, gas either starts to level out or continues to go down. Yesterday, I got gas for um, under $4. It was $3.99. So that felt that made me feel pretty good about bringing my gas budget down. Um, giving is going to get $5. And then my family short-term envelope is still going to get its usual $10. And then miscellaneous, again, just for those small annoying items that may come up um, throughout the next couple of weeks. I'm going to put $5 in there. So let's add these up. And that is 160. Let me just make sure. Always good to double check. Okay, yes, 160. So we're going to subtract 160 from 280. And we can carry down 120 into our sinking funds. So your sinking funds, these are your envelopes that um, you want to prepare for in advance. So this can be anything from birthdays, anniversaries, if you have travel coming up, um, back to school money, clothes money. Anything in your life that you know is coming up, but you want to start to put money aside now. Even holidays, Christmas is a big one, right? Well, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, a lot of people are getting ready for those three holidays now. So um, for me, because I have a trip coming up, um, I was able to pay for my flight and hotel on my last check and even stuff um, my travel envelope for some money, um, for some pocket change. Um I'm not going to spread around too much in my sinking funds. And so this um, this check, emergency, is always going to get something. Um, I do have my emergency tracker that I'm tracking my progress. And so that's going to get $10, this check. Um, birthdays, because for me personally, birthdays always um, would get me in trouble. I would forget or just not plan for someone's birthday. And so I would end up just swiping my credit card to get a gift or to participate in someone's birthday activity. So I typically always will put something into my birthday envelope. And then the rest, which I believe will help us get to um, a zero-based budget, I'm going to put in my travel envelope. And again, this is just to make sure that while I'm out of town, I do have enough money in my pocket for just whatever the incidentals and accidentals that may come up. So if we add that up, it should be 120. Yes, it is 120. And so to get a zero base budget, we have given every single dollar of this 2,190. We've given it a job, we've given it a purpose. And so when we come down to this box, and our income is $21.90. If we add up each of the three totals, so which was $19.10 for our fixed expenses, $160 for our variable envelopes, and $120 for our sinking funds, we get $21.90. And that the income expenses minus income is $0. And so I try to do that and I um, have been doing that for each check since I've started seriously budgeting um, in May of this year. And it's really been helping me save, helping me prepare for the future. I'll also link my um, July update below because it does show my total progress that I've made just in these short three months, almost um, $2,000 saving and giving my money a purpose, giving my money a job. And so that's our budget for today, you guys. On Friday, I'll upload um, the video of me stuffing 
the cash into my cash envelopes and my sinking funds. Um, and so that'll be my upload. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from me. Definitely like this video if you enjoyed this content or if it was helpful for you um, as you're budgeting your first check for August. And then comment below so we can chit chat. Thank you again for watching this video. If you've made it this far um, in the video, I truly appreciate you for tuning in and watching. But until I see you guys on Friday, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you then. Bye.